the Earth is a small place. When we look at these geological changes and events, how a volcanic eruption in Japan caused starvation in Europe, the eruption of the Japanese volcano in 1100 may have triggered a series of events that led to a severe famine in Europe, according to a news report. Scientists based their conclusions partly on observations of ice cores that were taken from glaciers in Greenland, also from historical reports described adverse weather conditions at the time. It's known that volcanic eruptions can influence the climate, not least because they can block out sunlight due to the large amounts of smoke and ash that they blow into the atmosphere. It's thought that something similar happened in Europe in the early 1100s when heavy rain and cold summers were observed. Around that time, Mount Asama, a volcano in Japan, erupted, causing nearby rice paddies and fields to be covered with thick ash. And according to the Asahi Shimbu, researchers had previously thought that the adverse weather in Europe around that time was due to an Icelandic volcano eruption, the Hekla volcano in 1104. But researchers analyzed this Greenland ice core and found that increased amounts of volcanic sulfate did not seem to match up with that theory. Also, the researchers identified narrative sources which described that the weather was like what was the, it was like around that time. The report concluded that we therefore posit that these anomalies may result from the cumulative climactic effects of several closely spaced volcanic eruptions that occurred between 1108 and 1110 AD. So it's not just one, it could be in a series of volcanic eruptions. The researchers found that many of the testimonies they discovered referred to crop failures and famines, of course. In 1109, for instance, the researchers discovered sources revealing persistent wet summer and autumn weather in France, Belgium, and England. And the results in reduced crops yields in that years in that year, and they quoted one source from France, or Derek Vitalis, who reported in the Historia Ecclesiastica that excessive rain had drowned the crops, the barrenness of earth cried aloud, and the grave harvest was almost total failure. This is what we saw we saw, for example, the devastation of the rains and the floods that we had recently in the United States with crop failures, it was just terrible. Now, the researchers noted that eruptions that took place in 1108 and up to 1110 may have initiated the preconditions necessary for these famines. The report states the sources of these eruptions remains unknown, but we propose that Mount Asama, whose largest Holocene eruption occurred August 1108 AD is credibly documented by a contemporary Japanese observer as is a plausible contributor to the elevated sulfate in Greenland. Dendroclimatology and historical documentation both attest to severe climatic anomalies following the proposed eruptions, likely providing the environmental precautions preconditions for subsistence crisis experienced in Western Europe between 1109 and 1111 AD. But researchers did, not, uh, did note that other causes for the famines were also possible, including extreme weather that coincided with destructive military tactics such as scorch earth tactics whereby forces destroyed anything that might be useful to the enemy as they move, the researchers also pointed to the possibility of burdensome economic policies as a potential cause, and the report is titled Climactic and Social Impacts of a Forgotten Cluster of Volcanic Eruptions in 1108 to 1110 AD. It is published in the journal Science Reports. Also, to uh, studying sulfur deposits in ice cores, the team observed tree rings, which they could use to work out what temperatures were like hundreds of years ago. Sebastian Guillet, lead author of the research and paleoclimatologist at the University of Geneva, 
told Vice last month that studying old trees, ancient texts, and ice core data made him feel like a time traveler. We suggest in the study, he said, that Mount Asama in Japan contributed to sulfur deposition in Greenland, but this hypothesis still needs to be confirmed, he said. This is on Express UK by Edward Brown. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.